Amen. I've been having the church pray for my brother-in-law, Rusty Jones. I told you last week he was scheduled to come home, and he did. Amen. He came home on Tuesday. Tuesday night he was in church and testifying about the goodness of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. I got to listen to that live on, on streaming on my phone. I listened to him give a testimony. And he was talking to his church, and what he said was, it doesn't matter what you're doing in life, amen. He said, for me, I always, if I had an opportunity to work and get some overtime, I would do that, and I would choose that over being in the house of the Lord. But what he said is, church, it's not worth it. There's not anything in this world worth missing being in church, amen. He said, I didn't realize that until I was laying there in that bed for three months, could not move. He said, I knew I was dead and I couldn't do anything about it. He said, all I could do was I could move one finger. I knew everything that was going on, but I couldn't do anything. And he said, the only thing I could think about is if I can get out of this bed, I'm going to get to the house of the Lord and I'm going to make Jesus a priority in my life. Amen. Praise God. I'm thankful for that. It was all during the prayer. I prayed not only for his healing, but for salvation for his soul. Amen. That he would get his heart right and rearrange the priorities of his life. And I appreciate God answering those prayers. And I'm telling you that just so you know that when we go to the Lord in prayer, we have an opportunity or an invitation to come boldly before the throne and ask what we will. And there is a God that sits on that throne that is wanting to give good gifts. He wants to answer prayer, but He wants us to exercise our faith and ask of Him. Amen. So if you have a need this morning, I want you to take a minute. If you know somebody that needs a touch, it's okay. We can take a minute. You can call their name out. Amen. Is there anybody that has a need? You've got somebody we want to pray for this morning. sister is sick and uh, my friend Carol I asked for prayer last week for her uh, she had had surgery to have a tumor removed and uh, they did find that it was cancer she's still in the hospital and uh, she was having difficulty what couldn't keep any food down and they run some more tests and found out that her intestines were twisted and so now she has that to deal with so it just I'm not concerned that that prayer hasn't been fulfilled totally yet I just believe in that it's going to be a bigger miracle when it does happen yes. um, Brother Jamie uh, Brother Jamie uh, my brother David he's in his last days and I just like the church to pray that God will strengthen him he was baptized in Jesus name just a few months ago in a tank outside and I'm just so thankful for that he got the Holy Ghost when he was just young and you know God can be with that family during this time I know that they need strength and his wife Vicki she's not well either and I just like the church to pray for David
Brother Dixon, if you would come. Some of the ladies, if you would come, let's pray for Sister Carolyn this morning. Let's just talk to the Lord about all these needs. Jesus, we love you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus, for an opportunity to come. My Lord, as a word for that, I'll have it your feet this morning, God. We know that we have a need of Jesus, even before we ask God. Yeah. 
Secondly, would you come and receive our Sunday morning tithe and offering? Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you for your giving. Amen. Not just today, but throughout, not only of monetary things, but of your time, your prayers. Amen. The Lord bless you this morning as you give to the work of the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Praise. All I want to do is bless your name. Your 
Jesus. Praise the Lord. I'm going to read this morning from the book of Proverbs. I'll start with about verse number five or so. Proverbs chapter number 14. And I'll start with verse number 5. The Bible says, A faithful witness will not lie, but a false witness will unwill their lies. A, a scorner seeketh wisdom and findeth it not, but knowledge is easy unto him that understandeth. Go from the presence of a foolish man when thou perceiveth not in him the lips of knowledge. Wisdom of the prudent is to understand his way, but the folly of the fool is deceit. Fools make a mock at sin, but among the righteous there is favor. The heart knoweth his own bitterness, and a stranger doth not intermeddle with his joy. House of the wicked shall be overthrown, but the tabernacle of the upright shall flourish. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Yes. Wait, what? What? There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. There have been times uh, when actually uh, a message, uh, something to preach, there have been times when that message would come to me in a dream. It hasn't happened very often, but it has happened. Then. This uh, <coughs> was one of those times. So I'm going to try to preach this for a while this morning from verse number 12. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man. But the end thereof are the ways of death. Praise God. It's probably an odd title. Um, maybe I can put all this together with the help of the Lord. I'm going to preach simply this morning just a little two-letter word that we use all the time and find it a whole lot in Scripture. I don't know how many times it's in the Bible, but probably thousands, but just a little small two-letter word, just simply if. Praise God. It's the title of my message this morning. If you would help me right now by laying your Bibles down Let's pray together. I'm going to do anything or accomplish anything without the Lord and power of God. We've got to have Him. Praise the Lord. I'm going to be in the perfect will of the Lord this morning. Pray to God and the Lord. Jesus touches all of God. And we give you praise, Lord. We thank you for it, God. We appreciate the touch of the Lord. Hallelujah. We worship you for it, God. Thank you enough, my Lord, for the move of your spirit, Jesus. Join us all, God, as we speak as we also hear the good word of the Lord this morning. Praise God. And everybody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you. You can be seated. Notice how often we use that word? Yep. All the time. If it snows tomorrow, there won't be school. Yeah. The possibility could happen. <coughs> Weather's nice, maybe we'll go on a picnic. Yeah. <laughs> that word also is found a lot of times in Scripture. If thou doest well, thou shalt be accepted. Right. But if you do not well, then sin lieth at the door. If. Right. Jesus said, if a man will come after me, let him take up his cross and follow me. If he will come after me. Praise the 
For if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, Be thou removed. Be thou cast into the sea. Hallelujah. She said in her heart, If I could just touch the hill of this garment, yeah. I'll be made whole. She tried everything else. And then finally come to the conclusion that her salvation, her healing, <laughs> the sustaining of her life, she finally had come to the conclusion that it was there was only one place that she could receive what she needed, and that was in Jesus. Yes. Right. I thank the Lord this morning that there was that one place. Yes. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, if I am serious, if I really am serious about making it to heaven, if I really want to go there, I'm not interested uh, in riches, I'm not interested in fame, I'm not, I just want to make it to heaven. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If I can realize that this life is just a vapor, like the Bible writer said it was, that's okay, praise God. If I understand that my goal in life is to make it that place, that sweet Beulah land, hallelujah, that the songwriter spoke of, the home of the soul, yes. that celestial city, a place that is prepared already, yes. New Jerusalem, where I can ever be with the Lord, praise God. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 If I can just make it there, praise God. Hallelujah. Now if I could read this scripture, you know, if I read, if I read this 14, chapter 14 of Proverbs, verse number 12, that there is a way that seemeth right unto a man, then it causes me to realize that this way is not found in my flesh. Right. That it's it's not in me. Hallelujah. That it's not my opinion of, of how this thing works or or how how the, what the plan is of how I get there. I can have an opinion about politics or I can have an opinion about sports, but when it comes to making it to heaven, my opinion does not matter at all. It's whatever. The Word of God says, hallelujah. Right. You know what, folks? We're missing something right here. I'm missing something. It's not your fault. It's my fault. Th this is not working. I, I, I don't think I'm in the will of God right now. I want us to stand and pray together. Something something is not right. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. The anointing that I expected to feel, I'm not, I'm not feeling so obviously the spirit is leading in a different direction than where I'm going. I can always save this for some other time. Hallelujah. But we need to be subject and submitted to the move of the spirit of the Lord in this house this morning. There is a miracle worker that is walking among us. Hallelujah. The king of glory is in this place. Praise God. The touch of the Holy Ghost is moving among us. Praise God. Hallelujah. If we would reach out here for a minute, let's just do an altar call right now. Praise God. Let's, let's just pray right now. No, Lord, let's just give ourselves over to the Spirit of the Lord. Let's focus on Him for just a minute. If you want to come into the altars, that is all right. If you want to pray with somebody, that certainly is in order this morning. Praise God.
you, Lord. Church for being sensitive to the move of the Spirit of the Lord. Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I think when the Lord breaks in on a service like that, Sometimes uh, the move of the Spirit of the Lord like this, sometimes uh, if you're not careful, you can lose what you're feeling. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can make that plain or not or explain what I'm talking about, but uh, uh, there, there have been times in services like this when you feel God so strong. That if I'm not careful, and sometimes I can, I still feel it tomorrow and the next day, I still feel that anointing power that we've all felt right now. Amen. Uh, we need to hold on to that. Yes. The only way I know to do that, the only way I've ever been successful in doing it, is to keep my mind focused yes. on. Right. If you if you got an impression while all of this was going on of, of something maybe you weren't doing that you needed to start doing that you need to do that, yes. it's, it's the Lord talking to us. Praise okay. the Lord. Amen. Uh, you can keep that. You can keep this. What God wants to do, you can keep that going. I'm, I'll probably not make any sense at all. So. Yeah. You know, but I, I love this praise. You know, yeah. Hallelujah. God's got great things for us. And, and that's not, I'm not talking about future. I'm talking about right now. God yes. has got great yes. things yeah. for us. That's right. He's blessed us this day tremendously. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A happy heart from the Lord, a thankful heart. They never backslide. Amen. And stay with the praise God. So let's keep focused on what's going on. You know, there was a time, and it still is, I guess, is I, I know folks that if they haven't had church for two hours, they think they haven't had church. So, uh, so at this point, they would uh, they would either have a little song service or a testimony service to do something so we could stay another hour. And because I mean, it's just uh, it's just not right that you got to have a two-hour service. But uh, God has moved. Yeah, amen. We have felt His power and Spirit. I've had His will. 
service has been a tremendous success. Yes, amen. People have got closer to God. Amen. God's talked to my heart. He's talked to your heart too. Amen. And that's something that's important. Praise yeah. God. So right. can we just stand together and worship Him for just a minute here.